everybody, Eric here at SES Vape, and I want to take the time to talk to y'all about a few devices that I have and maybe some safety tips I could possibly give you, okay? So the first one I'm going to start off with is this little all-in-one device here. All-in-one, it basically just means that the tank, the battery, everything is built in and they're just little small compact devices and they are ready to go, okay? Uh, most importantly, when you're charging one of these devices, you're not going to want to overcharge them. You're not going to want to leave them overnight. You're not going to want to charge them for more than four to six hours because uh, all of them do have smaller batteries, so they're not going to take that long to charge. As well as they do have some safety protections in them. You know, there's electronics in there that will keep it from working. It will not fire or it will turn itself off if it's having issues. And, of course, you're going to want to talk to somebody or, you know, you're going to want to get rid of that properly, okay? So definitely, definitely um, be cautious with every device that you use. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and go up in a size here. Now this one is gonna be more of a box mod style. You can see here, um, this one does have all the same safety features, but it does have a LED screen on it. And most of these ones with the LED screens will actually tell you what is wrong with your device if you're having issues with it, okay? But then once again, if you are having issues with it, you're gonna wanna either discard that or talk to somebody about that immediately. You're definitely not going to want to charge that any longer. And then again, some people use the USB ports to charge these. Not really recommended. You may want to get a external battery charger. That will save yourself a lot of trouble. Okay. So definitely, let's move on to the next one. Now, this one is one of my favorites. Okay, uh, but it's also probably the most dangerous out there. And if you don't know what you're doing and you haven't read up on your Ohm's law and you don't know what battery you own and you don't know how to build coils, you probably shouldn't be using this one. This one here is a mech mod, as you can see. It is just a metal tube. There is nothing inside it, no software protection, no safety at all besides your own personal knowledge that you used to build this with. And you can see inside there, there will be nothing, nothing at all in there, just, just, just metal and power, okay? So that will be using this one in particular, use 18650s, and you would have to use an RDA to build on, of course. And like I said, if you do not know your Ohm's Law, it's not for you and it's not for the beginner as well. Okay, so let's move on. 18650 batteries here. Uh, this is a brand new battery. You can see it's just brand new. It's just right out of the package here. Uh, very powerful batteries. And a lot of these batteries in these vape mods are very powerful, especially the 18650. Not to say that it isn't a bad battery. It's a very good battery. But you just have to know that when you're dealing with something powerful, you have to make sure you know what you're doing, which brings me to this guy right here. So as you can see, this battery is tapered on the bottom. It's torn up a bit. It's also missing the insulator that goes onto the top here. Now, if your battery looks like this, you're gonna to want to discard this immediately. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you look that up. You're not just throwing it in the trash can. You wanna know how to discard it properly. If not, you can come to the shop and you can give it to me and I will discard it for you, okay? You can always rewrap these, but that's a whole nother subject. And I don't recommend you doing that if you haven't done it before and you're, you know, you haven't read up on it. You just gotta know, you gotta be very knowledgeable about your vape products, okay? So if you have an issue with any of your devices or batteries and you're not exactly sure what you should do with them, come inside the shop, ask for me, and I will take the time and talk to you about it, troubleshoot it, or you know, give you some advice on what we should do with it next time, okay? So hopefully I'll see you at the shop, and hey, come talk to me.